Nikki from the National Indigenous Media Arts Coalition. Hi, I'm Cynthia Licker Sage from the Indigenous Performing Arts Alliance. Hi, I'm Ellen Hamilton from Clunky of the New Performing Arts Hub. It's been really nice to just convene from our organizations to be able to chat about what our needs are, what we're working towards, and what big projects that are happening. It's really inspiring. It's also great to meet different people from across Canada that are into the arts too. So we've been networking and having other meetings too. Yeah, I mean, you get so isolated in your own area and your own region in Canada, and it's so nice, I think, for all of us to collaborate and work together. So that these events are always the best part of them is to meet other artists and arts leaders. The arts need funding. They are not frivolous. Arts are essential to Canadian culture, to Indigenous culture, to values, to language, to everything we do. And uh, they are not to be treated as an add-on. They are essential. Yeah, and we as Indigenous people do not separate arts and culture. It is one of the same. It's part of our DNA, so it's imperative that Canada stands up and understands that. Uh, I think just to reiterate what, they were, what these two women are saying as well, and then also just thinking about um, how legacy is important, how language is important, how this all does come through through arts and through culture, and how they are interchangeable and uh, vital to reclaiming who we are uh, on this land. I'd also just like to mention to all political people that if you have the artists on your side, you communicate anything, communicate any message. We're really good communicators.